G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Lenovo Idea Center. This particular one has got the model number Idea Center 310S 08ASR. This particular one, I'm just opening it up to see what can potentially be upgraded. And it's also, at this point in time, I do want to format the drive. We do have one Phillips head screw down here. We do have another one up here. Undo those two and slide it back on there. And we're in. And looking inside is extremely disappointing. We essentially have a mobile processor stuck here. If I zoom you in, essentially we've got a laptop in a computer case. Strangely though, well luckily we do support desktop RAM. So there's two slots in here. We do support two SATA ports, one currently getting used for the DVD drive, one getting used for a 3.5 inch SATA hard drive, which looks to be a two terabyte Seagate. We do also have a PCI 16 times slot here, but you're gonna be struggling to upgrade that due to the size of the card and also the form factor. The length is gonna be the biggest killer. You can get small form factor cards, but being that they would typically go further back where the PCI slot finishes right down here, right at the end of the slot, and the card, you're gonna be struggling to put anything else in there. Now, it looks up here if I pull this tab and pull it forward. I need to take off the front. One clip, two clip, and the three clip. And the front folds down from there. Then from here, you should be able to pull on this to open it. So disappointingly, we have a, I'm assuming it's the BGA socketed processor. Yep, it is, so that is not upgradable. RAM is upgradable. To add it, to remove it, we pull these two tabs out, like so. And then you'll notice there's a notch in the middle. If we go like that here, the RAM is shot out. We have a little notch here. This one has a eight gig stick of PC2400 DDR4. So potentially any RAM you get would work just fine with this. So to put it back in, we line it up with the cutout with the slot here. Align it and push down and we're in. Also, we do have an upgradable wireless card. Rotate this, we'll see it. So we do have a PCI wireless card that is up upgradable here. What I want to do right now is take out the hard drive, which is screwed in on both sides. One screw here, one screw here, and then one here, one here. So you could potentially upgrade this to an SSD, but I'd find that the overall speed would not really improve. So it's the limitation of the processor, it is just too dumb. So essentially, if you bought this machine, you would have bought a laptop in a computer's body. And the disappointing thing is they could have potentially made it smaller. They could have made it small. They didn't make it small. Now if I close this down, have a look on this side. There is also two screws here. So you could upgrade it to a 2.5 inch SSD. They are reasonable in price. But overall, it's essentially, sadly, e-waste, I would classify this as. It's one two terabyte drive there. So let's say you have upgraded to a 2.5 inch drive. How do we reinstall that drive? So we should be able to go and connect power to here, SATA to here. We should be able to rotate the drive to go back into here. I feel like I may have it around that way. SATA cable is fighting me. There we go. So 
Sorry to out of view. There you go. So in theory, if you did want a game on here, you're not going to be able to play much very well. But what you could upgrade to is potentially putting in another 8 gig stick of RAM inside the machine. You could upgrade to a 2.5 inch SSD to get the computer running a little bit faster as well. You get the benefit of dual channel memory. And there's really not much else you could do. You could try and replace the graphics card. Actually, I didn't actually identify what we got in here. Um, no, I'm not actually seeing a model number on that graphics card. So, if you were to go down the path of replacing the graphics card, undo that, we'll pull the latch here, forward, and pull up. Wiggle and pull up. And we have one removed graphics card. Being that there's no model on here, or branding, or really anything, I don't actually know what this is. I'm assuming it's a radiant of some variety. Maybe completely wrong, but we do also have a single PCI one-time slot here. But do be warned, whatever graphics card you get, it basically has to end at that slot, or else it will not physically have the hard drive closed on it, or the hard drive tray. There we go. Push that down and in. Straighten this, for some reason it's bent. Go. Put it back through. In, latch over. I'm going to close this down too. There we go. I do have a couple of screws I need to put on the other side to put that hard drive back into place. I'm going to hold it up just slightly. There we go. Overall, I'm not a fan of this style of design. It requires a laptop charger. It's about the only thing that's probably really reusable on this if this machine fails. Yeah, put the front back on as well. It folds down at the front here, into the holes, and then slides up. There we go. And lastly, the top cover needs to go back on. We pretty much sit it down. Wiggle it a little bit push forward and then we've got two screws here and here. So that is sadly the disappointment of the Lenovo Idea Center 310S 08ASR. Hope this helps you with what potential upgrades you could do and I'll see you guys later. Bye.